All right. So, I asked what cards I should use for Virgo. Told me these ones. So far, these are the cards to... These are the magical cards. So Virgo, what do you got? What do we got for Virgo? Oh, that's in the reverse. That's not good. Oh. Maybe it is good. <laughs> in fact, I think it is. Moon in reverse. Okay, so some secrets or some hidden fantasies revealed. Hopefully it's not any hidden issues. I don't think so though. I'm not getting that. Although if there is something like that, hopefully it gets treated. So. Oh, <laughs> that was kind of weird. Five of Wands. Nine of Swords. Okay. Okay. So let's say somebody could have some latent you know issues paranoia seven of cups seven of cups paranoia i'm getting something about paranoia um somebody being haunted about cer certain things um there could also be somebody who somebody who's been watching somebody who's been spying on somebody so you may find out that somebody has been, you know, more um, into you than you realize. You know, somebody has been possibly behind the scenes um, keeping track of you. Okay. All right, Virgo. Somebody may be needing to take certain king of wands. Hermit. Okay. So, somebody maybe have started to take up some extra measures in order to, you know, cleanse themselves, cleanse their area, their space, their body, their mind, their spirit, their soul, their aura, their crown chakra, keeping it clear because it could be something going on. You know, somebody's probably using every method that they know of in order to remove or detach somebody, some kind of negative energy. Maybe it's not necessarily any kind of negative energy. A lot of times it starts in the mind. That's where it starts in the mind. You know, if your mind is very strong and powerful, nothing can penetrate it. And that's what somebody probably needs to realize, especially with this hermit and this king of wands. You know, you hold the power of everything. Everything, you hold it. No one can scare you into submission no one can force you into submission unless you allow somebody to do that by a weakened mind okay somebody that has fear so your fear is what defeats you all right you know <laughs> i'll tell you what been hearing a lot of other readers you know ones you know just kind of flipping through and i hear somebody saying kitchen witch kitchen witch i don't even know what a kitchen witch is okay but i've been hearing it however <laughs> why does this kind of remind me of that term looks like somebody in the kitchen concocting certain things and there's like this demon dancing on this person. Like I said, I don't even know what that is. In fact, I maybe I just look it up. I've just been hearing the term lately. Possibly there's something that somebody is fearing or thinking that somebody is probably doing something to them. And anyway, this, this king was, is in the upright and that hermit was in the upright. So... Don't worry about any of that, you know, worry about yourself. If somebody else is doing something, throwing something your way, just block it. Keep your, keep your energy up. Keep your mind and spirit up. All right. And that's what we have here. 
this is kind of like protecting yourself, protecting your energy. So if we want to break that into layman's terms, let's say somebody is trying to psych you out. You know, that's, that's something that, you know, a lot of times tarot can like do to hurt you. You know, not necessarily that it's the person's intention. Um, it's how we all perceive different things. But if you get scared from certain things, you know, we can't help it. There's, there's negative and positive throughout life. We live in a universe of polarity. But if certain things scare you, you know, your fears, if it appeals to your fear, then, then, it, then that's it. Then you're done. Okay. Um, in layman's terms, somebody coming up to you and telling you, I put a curse on you. Then you're like, oh, you get scared. Then your mind starts to work against you. Your mind is what plays it over and over again in your, in your head. It creates sickness. And you actually do. The mind actually kind of destroys it. It destroys you. you know? Then you use these little things to say, you know, I use this to kind of clear and cleanse my energy. And those things do work. They do hold power. Because your mind holds the power. Okay. So, I don't know. A little something I'm just thinking about. But, if you allow somebody to intimidate you or bully you, make you feel inferior, you know, if somebody says, if you do this, I'm going to do that, you get scared. Your mind gets, you know, plays these things over and over again in your mind. Whether it's a spell or not, it's just intimidation. And if somebody can actually instill that fear into your head, they can actually gain power over you. All right, so remember that. As long as you protect yourself, however it is. If you say prayer, I like to say prayer, I like to say affirmations. That's pretty much it. Take a shower. <laughs> you know, some people do other things, different tactics, you know, and they work for them. Some things don't work for me. What works for me may not work for everyone else. So, same thing. I mean, we all, we're all incredibly different. Different things work for all of us. As long as you have a powerful mind, nothing can penetrate it. Okay. That's what this says. All right. Five of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. All right, Virgo. What else we got? I feel like that's all it is. You got the Ace of Cups. Look at that. Oh, and you got the Magician. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. You got the Nine of Wands. If there is something kind of coming in, I don't feel like anything is going to happen to you or nothing is going. Whoever it is that could be bothering you, it's not going to, it's not going to, it's not going to penetrate. Okay. So I'm kind of seeing it as somebody who is doing something in order to spy on you to kind of make you afraid you know if there's people that are watching me that you know don't like me there's nothing i can do about it i can't like cower into a corner the rest of my life and not do anything you know whatever it is that i'm doing i am actually helping a lot of people and i'm going to continue to do certain things and grow in order to continue to help people okay my service you know, I'm going to continue to do that. And there's going to be people that aren't going to like me. And there's going to be people that, you know, I made angry many, many years ago. Even if I didn't do anything to them, I still made them angry somehow. You know, we can't help that. But we can't stop. We have to continue. You can't just lay down in a corner and just go gentle into that good night. <laughs> You have to keep going. There's nothing I can do. There's going to be people that aren't going to like me for whatever it is I'm, that I'm doing, even if I'm not doing anything. But we have to continue. All right. And that's what this is. It doesn't matter whatever this person's got going on, if they're watching you. If it's a crazy ex... What are you going to do? Just let them make you stay 
a hermit the rest of your life? You can't stop that person. You know, if, and if they're doing something to you where you can actually get the law involved, so be it. But if it's something else, energetically, that's up to you. Okay? That's within your control. Strengthen your mind. I see you having brand new love coming in. And you know me. For me, the magician is a life partner. Now, whoever this past person is, they weren't worthy. They weren't really much of anything, at least at the time. That we're, they, whoever this person was, it was somebody. They may have even had a negative entity attached to them. Okay. We're, it's on the table tonight, so let's, let's go there. <laughs> but whoever it was, they may have had negative entities attached to them. However, it was that it manifests. You know, certain things, anger, you know, make people, you know, make people seem like they are the moon in reverse. Like the cheese had fallen off their cracker, you know. Make them do devilish or demonic things. Things that they maybe wouldn't normally do. Maybe they had been possessed by, you know, whatever. Whatever it was that their flesh, you know, enjoyed, indulged in. That's the possession, okay? I can see this person, you know, <laughs> had a way with the wand. <laughs> um, but could have been somebody who also liked to fight and liked to scare you. This person may have even scared you, may have done something to you, okay? I see that you've kind of closed yourself off and you've moved on to something else. And it's a good thing that you close that door because you have a life partner coming in, okay? Not only do you, not, and not only that, but you love yourself. And that's the ultimate, that is the ultimate act of love is letting go of somebody that you know is not good for you. It's probably the greatest gift of love that you can give yourself. Knowing that you love yourself more than you love somebody else. You can also start bringing in things into your life that you do want when you get rid of the negative energy. And that person, you know, whatever happened with that person, Hopefully they, you know, hopefully they, you know, step into the sunlight at some point, <laughs> you know, and release those demons. But it's not your problem. You got something else coming in here. And I see whatever this is, whoever this new person is, they're going to be very, very protective of you. They're not going to let anything happen to you. I think it would be very nice to be that way in return to that person. Okay. Before I wrap this up, let's get some more on this other person. You got somebody who's um very loving. Very, very loving. Very emotional. It's a life partner. There you go. All right, Virgo. <laughs> I'm glad I grabbed this deck, Virgo. Whoever this person is that's coming in. They may want to expedite the relationship. You got the tower. You got the knight of swords. You got the lovers. It's a life partner. It's brand new. Very loving person. Something that you're kind of keeping close. This person may even want to kind of like run off with you to Vegas to get married. <laughs> that kind of popped up a couple weeks ago. As a matter of fact... One of my commenters had said, well, my TikTok, one of my commenters said, how'd you know that we were going to Vegas to get married? <laughs> you know, for whatever reason, it's popping up. So, not that it's what it's going to be, but, you know. There could be somebody that may want to tie the knot rather quick. They may want to tie it down. And good thing you got rid of whatever that was in the past, you know. Other than that, that's pretty much it. All right, Virgo. Very nice reading. Very nice reading. So, like, comment, share, follow. And, well, uh, we're on YouTube. So, um, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. And hit the notification bell. All right. Take it easy. Happy New Year.